In 2021, a user by the name of Carl92 had posted a snippet of some song onto the What's That Song website, with the hopes that maybe someone within this community would be able to identify it. What's That Song is a community of song namers. If you have a tune that's stuck in your head, or you have a small snippet of a song that Shazam just can't identify, the What's That Song community can help in naming that song for you. This snippet is a short 18 seconds long, is bad quality, and is said to be from the mid 80s. This is what was posted. What exactly is the snippet? Where did the snippet even come from? Carl92 would respond to a user suggesting that a longer sample would be helpful for the search. Thanks. Sorry that's all I have. I don't remember its origin. I rediscovered this sample between a bunch of very old files in a DVD backup. Probably I was simply learning how to capture audio and this was a leftover. The thing is, it sounds somewhat familiar to me. Or maybe I'm mistaken with a similar song. And I thought it wasn't going to be a too obscure one. Well, obscure it was. It is currently May 2023, and this fragment of music still lacks an identity. No one knows where this song is from, or who the author is. Don't get me wrong, this song is a banger. However, there's something so eerie yet so sad about it, I don't know. It's probably just the fact that its origin is non-existent, but it sounds like a song you would hear playing through faulty speakers in an abandoned mall. It just gives that liminal vibe. This song has intrigued a lot of people, including myself. I have already briefly talked about this song in a past video, but I want to dive deeper into it. Let's look through some different theories, some eyewitnesses who apparently remember hearing the song, and potential leads. So let's go. Now, what do we know so far about Everyone Knows That? So far, we have a pretty good understanding on what the lyrics potentially consist of. Some words might be a bit off or misinterpreted, but still pretty much completely correct. Carl has stated that the file of this snippet itself is from 1999. So this snippet isn't from the 2000s and is likely from the 80s or 90s. The biggest thing that was discovered about the sample is that it was definitely a recording off TV. A user named Niski in the What's That Song thread stated that this isn't from a cassette, a VHS, or anything playing in an NTSC country. It is definitely from TV, as the snippet contains a subtle 15.734kHz pilot tone only present in MTS broadcasts exclusive to these selected few countries. With the confirmation that the recording was captured by a computer microphone, this has led to the theories that this snippet comes from some sort of advertisement commercial or television material, such as a show's intro. This is all that's really known about the snippet the lyrics, the time frame, and the origin being from TV. Within many different comment sections and threads, many people have posted their own theories and ideas about the song, in regards to where it could have possibly come from, and just general information. Let's take a look at a few comments which suggest some different points. Since we now know that this was recorded from TV, it definitely sounds like a show opening or a makeup commercial soundtrack from like the very late 1990s. OP said the file is dated to 1999. A lot of commercials back then had songs that were made specifically to promote something, so it might have been made to promote a game about ulterior motives or something like that. Could it possibly be on a commercial for a CD cassette collection of other new wave songs? That may explain the brief cut of the song we have. It may be a B side track on an album not too many people have heard of, and also I don't think it's mostly in English. The words no matter how many times I listen to it does not sound like English. The lyrics people think it says certainly sounds like they would fit, but I'm just not seeing it. Of course, I could be wrong. I'm just searching for anything to help trim the bulk of the search down. Some users have even made claims to remember hearing the song all the way back. 
I don't know if this will lead anyone anywhere, but I think I heard this on MTV in the late 90s or early 2000s. There was a very strange music video that had a boy doing either gymnastics or aerobics. While the boy sang this song, there were also females in the back clapping. I think or that was from a totally different music video, but that's where I saw it. I know this song. It was used for a late 90s commercial for cars. Saw it in the US. I think the car brand wasn't a major brand like Honda or Toyota, but if you show me the brand, I could definitely tell whether it is that or not. People in the replies helped this user identify the car brand that they were thinking of, which turned out to be Celine. Another comment would be made mentioning a car commercial. My dad's best friend since childhood worked for a car manufacturer called Celine from 1995 to 1998. I saw a previous comment mentioning the brand, so I asked him if he recognized the song. He said he remembers it, and remembers approving it for use in a commercial for a Celine Mustang partnership with McDonald's for the Big Win Monopoly promotion. He told me that the commercial was filmed and edited, but was never released on television. He said that it was a song suggested and selected by another employee, who had a collection of songs that could have been used in advertisements. We talked last night, and he told me that he was trying to get in contact with the employee who suggested the song, whose name is Scott. I'll update later when I find out more. Everyone needs to remember that misremembering information is very real, so take these with a grain of salt as they could simply be the works of false memories. Many people have gone to theorize that this song may potentially be fake, and to be simply a work of AI. AI is becoming more advanced every year. The things that are created nowadays through the use of AI is insane, and it doesn't make this theory seem too far-fetched at all. Some people have even used AI to try extend the song. User Al3XO Archive on YouTube used OpenAI Jukebox to make an AI extended version of Everyone Knows That. It sounds absolutely terrifying. I'm not doubting the chance that AI could have created Everyone Knows That, but I just don't think this is a work of AI. Carl's responses in the original WhatsApp song comment thread seem genuine. It seems like he genuinely wants to know what this song is and is just as baffled as we are. In what way would creating a fake song and sending the internet on this big search benefit Carl in any way? I mean, it would be pretty funny on his end, but I just don't think this is a fake song. As of today, nothing at all has been found. If you have any idea or suggestions on what everyone knows that is, please leave a comment down below. Next, let's take a look at a lost mysterious song which a lot of you might not be familiar with, known as I'm Yours. Similar to the last song, this snippet too originates from What's That Song. In 2020, a user who goes by IllyAZX had posted a small 30 second snippet onto the website, stating they recorded this from the radio when they were a kid in the 90s. They still can't find the title of the song. This is the snippet. This is a very strange sounding song. What are these lyrics? I'm getting instant messages from anybody using a PC. I lie about my age and tell you what I'm wearing or to get you more interested in me. The lyrics to this song are definitely a bit off. 
The lyrics to this snippet have led many users to strongly believe that this was some sort of internet safety or MSN Messenger PSA on the radio. A PSA to let people know that you could be talking to anyone through a PC. This is the most believable theory, and a theory which is most likely correct. There is a chance, however, that this could be a real full song. Maybe it's perhaps a track about some obsessed catfishing stalker or something. I mean, would this really be an effective internet safety PSA? Half the lyrics from this 30 second snippet don't really relate at all to internet safety. The song as well sounds pretty upbeat for a PSA that doesn't have any visuals. It was just audio on the radio. You would think they'd try pretty hard in making the internet safety point totally clear and obvious. But who knows? I'm still kind of leaning towards the idea that this song was some sort of internet safety PSA, but those are just a few points which make the idea of this being an actual real song more convincing if they weren't. There's really not that much else to talk about regarding this unknown song, as we don't really have that much more information. If any of you watching this have actually heard this mysterious song, or have some knowledge on what it might be, please comment down below. Now, so far we've been discussing mysterious snippets without a true identity. However, has there ever been a time when a snippet with no identity eventually had its origin discovered? Yes, many, many times. And to just give you guys some hope that at times these mysterious samples do end up being found, let's look through the song Maniac Laugh and how that started just as an unknown snippet to a fully found track. For a while, this 30 second snippet, which was known as Ha 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 Ha, was completely unidentified, and was recorded off non-commercial radio in Portland, most likely in 1994. The song had a very weird and sort of creepy vibe to it. The repetitive Ha 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 put many at unease, however leaving many curious as to what this song actually was. The mysterious song was eventually found and was discovered to be titled Maniac Laugh by Johnny Cohen. It was found by the original user who uploaded Ha 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 to their YouTube, and started the entire search, who would explain on Discord how he found it. I actually wasn't even searching for the song, I was just shopping for records on Discogs. When I saw that Maniac Laugh title, I thought it maybe could be a lead for Ha Ha Ha. I listened to part of one of the other songs from the EP that was available on YouTube, and it didn't sound very promising. But what made me still think it might be it, was a credit for a ukulele player. Johnny Cohen is just a pure singer. Still, I was really surprised when it turned out to be it. Before listening, I looked at the lyric sheet and just stood there, gaping at the words, I took a woman to dinner, for 30 seconds. Also, it turns out that I didn't need to buy the record to solve it. Of course, the vinyl is a must-have for me anyway. The Discogs entry I looked at didn't show a lyric sheet, but there are two alternate color versions where you can see the lyric sheet on Discogs, which I didn't notice until today. This was a weird, obscure song many people were certain was going to stay unidentified. I guess I'm just showing you guys this just to give you guys hope and just show you that any of these mysterious unknown songs could be found anywhere. Similar to the first two songs, this is an unknown snippet which comes from What's That Song. However, interestingly, this song was posted quite a while ago being posted onto the site all the way back on October 16th, 2006, by user Lorraine. Here is the snippet. The snippet is a short 14 seconds, and sounds really good. It gives off Top Gun Danger Zone vibes. This sample, however, has absolutely no information connected to it. 
No description such as the date or origin of how the snippet came to existence was given within the WhatsApp song thread, just the words classical. Since we haven't really been given any information on the sample, let's look through a few different theories that have been made by other users. Just by the sound of this, I'm willing to bet it's from some obscure 80s movie. Since the lyrics talk about ghosts and being spooked, sounds like it's from the 80s and people say it sounds like a commercial music, maybe it's from a toy or movie or TV or TV commercial for something related to Ghostbusters or Beetlejuice. Sounds like the intro of an 80s action anime. So yeah, we currently have no idea where this song is from. It could be an intro for something. It could be from a commercial. It could be a radio ad. Or it could be a snippet of a full song. It truly is a completely mysterious song, with its identity being unknown since 2006. It has been a long time yet nothing about it has come to light. Yet again, if any of you have some sort of idea on what you think this might be, please comment down below. I don't know about you guys, but all of these forgotten songs are kind of sad in a way. All of these people who created these songs put all this time and passion into them, only for them to become lost to time and buried into the depths. There is something so oddly eerie about it. Hopefully we find out who created these songs soon. Thank you guys for watching, and take care.